Hi, I'm Robin Benson. Welcome to Chow Time. You know, during the week, I'm pretty good about breakfast. I'll have things like oh, maybe yogurt with a piece of toast, or some fresh fruit, or some healthy cereal. But when it comes to the weekend, it's time to splurge because I love bacon and then eggs fried in the bacon fat. And I love a stack of pancakes with butter smeared all over it and about a gallon of syrup. And I love sweet treats on the weekend. And so you want to see my latest breakfast treat? The first thing I did was I preheated my oven to 375 degrees. And then I put one stick of butter in a 10 inch pie plate and I just let it melt almost all the way. So I'll just set that right there. And then I took a package of eight large buttermilk biscuits. You know, the kind that's really fun to pop the container open. Then you take your kitchen scissors and you cut strips like that. It's kind of fun. And then you cut each strip into pieces, I would say about the size of a miniature marshmallow. Okay, now take your pie plate with all the butter. We're going to sprinkle these all over that butter. Just kind of get them in there at first. Then you, you have to work on these for a few minutes because you want to arrange them so it's pretty much a single layer. And that way you can kind of be dipping them at the butter in the butter at the same time. Now I have some brown sugar and I'm just going to sprinkle it evenly all over the top of those. And it's about a half a cup's worth. I mentioned this was a super easy recipe, but you don't want to be spending a ton of time in the kitchen on a Sunday morning. I'm going to pop this back in my 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes. And while those are baking away, I'm going to whip together a really easy three ingredient icing to drizzle over the top. So this is powdered sugar. It's about a cup's worth. And I'm, this is buttermilk. So I'm going to stir the buttermilk into the powdered sugar. You want to thin that powdered sugar so it's very easy to drizzle. Make sure with that fork to get out any lumps in the sugar too. And then I'm going to add chopped pecans. They're pretty finely chopped, but I still want people to know that those are pecans. And that's about a half a cup's worth. So we stir that in. And actually I'm going to add a little bit more powdered sugar because this is too thin for me. Yeah, see I added a little bit too much buttermilk before. So see, this is nice it's thick. It's like the consistency of a good gravy because I want to just spoon it all over the top of those little biscuits when they come out of the oven. I lied. It was about 17 minutes. Okay, I'll put that 
right up there. And then I just want to take this buttermilk pecan icing and drizzle it all over the top. Get all the edges. Get every little nook and cranny. And then finally, I'm going to put a very light sprinkling of salt over the top. Not very much at all. You want to let this cool down completely so things can firm up a little bit. Uh, if you want to speed up the process, put this on a hot pad in the refrigerator. Doesn't that look inviting? And the good thing too, if you're trying to be good even on the weekend, these come in little nibbly bites. You just pick off a piece like that and you can just have one. So good. Okay, that's it for me. Just have my black coffee. Not going to do it.